Metrics is not desktop imposition software. Now to some that might sound a little odd, especially considering that an imposition like we're looking at here can be exported from Metrics directly into a prepress workflow as a JDF imposition, or as a fully imposed PDF file into the workflow or direct to a device. So what's this business about metrics not being desktop imposition software? Let's take a look. I've got a pretty simple project here to use as an example. A 6x4 product, I need 12,000 of those, and I'm going to try to produce it on a 2028 sheet. Now if this were simply desktop imposition software, the operator would have to come in and through their skill and experience determine how many up to put on the sheet, using the tools of the software to make some kind of a step and repeat and perhaps center that on the sheet. And then of course at this point you'd wonder well maybe I should have put them vertically instead of horizontally maybe I could have achieved more on the sheet. And this is a simple project not a complex one. Well metrics can certainly do those things as you've watched me do it's very very simple and some imposition software can do some of this automatically but metrics goes much further. Being that this isn't imposition software I really want to get rid of this and ask Metrics to do it for me. Metrics calculates and finds the very best way to arrange those on the sheet. And that's why we don't call Metrics and Position software per se, even though an imposition is what it's creating, it's planning software. We're planning the project the best way within the constraints of the equipment we have. To understand how this works, we're going to take a quick trip over to the Metrics database. The database is where the magic happens. When Metrics is first configured, you'll put your various presses in here, offset, digital presses, etc. You're going to tell Metrics what the equipment is capable of and not capable of. Metrics wants to make sure that everything you create and everything it creates is always done within the constraints of the equipment. Now in one sense, that's the easy part. Metrics wants to know what the equipment can do, so we optimize it as fully as possible. But more than that, if we scroll down here, Metrics also wants to know how you cost that equipment, how fast it can run, make ready hours for each color, plate cost, and a drying time factor for turned and tumbled work. We use these factors here in conjunction with the cost of your stocks, which you'll also put into the Metrics database, and which you can edit by exporting and importing them in a CSV format, to come up with a dollar value for every layout. And as I move forward, you'll notice that every layout has a dollar value cost assigned to it. This helps Metrics in its calculations to make sure that not only are we fitting things correctly and making sure that the equipment is being considered and optimized, we're actually making the most economically viable decision depending on the constraints of the product and the equipment. It really is magic and it points again to the fact that this isn't imposition software. We're not simply optimizing or filling up a sheet or making it look good. We're making a sheet or sheets as ideal as possible for the manufacturing conditions. This is why people who are estimators love to use metrics. The planners use metrics. And of course, certainly people in prepress use it. But it's not really a prepress tool as we're getting at here. It is a planning tool and an assistance to the estimators. Let's take a look at another project here that illustrates this as well. This is a great example. I've got four different products, different quantities, different sizes. And my question is not just so much, how do I lay these out on the sheet? I could certainly figure out a solution. The question really should be, what's the best way to do this? Should I, in fact, even run this work and turn on my 102, on a 2028 sheet? Maybe I should choose a different sheet size, or a different press, or a different working style. And position software would leave you with very limited choices. Metrics allows us to come in and choose from a multitude of different options, in this case different presses, different working styles, and even different sheet sizes. In this case, 62 completely different options to produce this very complex project. Metrics thinks about it and then gives me options as to how to produce it, all based on costs. And here's where we start to get to the heart of it. The costing here allows me to make very intelligent choices. That's the choice I'd like. $1,170. It's a fantastic solution, and I have confidence that's the very best solution for me. In this last example, I'm going to create a project by importing a list of products from a comma-separated file. 
And as you can see, I have a number of pieces to produce here. Different quantities, they're all over the place. If this were in position software, I, the operator, would have to make the decision of which products go on which sheets, how many sheets, and how many times each one is stepped up. And of course, my goal would be not necessarily to minimize the number of sheets, but to minimize the overall cost of the project. It's an economic calculation. Because Metrics knows the cost of the press, the stock, plates, make ready time, etc., all we have to do is ask Metrics to figure this out with the auto plan engine. It takes a whole second, and Metrics creates layouts for me. Again, these are not layouts created simply by filling sheets up, but by economically looking at hundreds or thousands of options and determining this is the ideal way to run the project. A lot more could be said to drive the point home but I'm hoping this brief presentation illustrates well the idea. Imposition software is all about the operator making decisions or simply following the guidance of someone before them in the workflow. Metrics is planning software focused on calculating the best solution. It's all about saving costs, minimizing effort, and maximizing the capabilities of your equipment. We feel strongly that our customers say it best, so I'm going to leave you with a few customer quotes. Customers who found out firsthand the value of boxing up their old imposition software and looking at their work differently.